my name is Ron Miller. Today I want to talk about mistakes that both victims trying to handle their own cases make and inexperienced personal injury lawyers when trying to settle an injury claim. Billions of dollars, literally billions of dollars, are left on the table every year by these mistakes. If you suffer from injuries that weren't your fault, you want to get every last penny that you can. Of course you do. Let's start with how much money you ask for in your demand letter. The single worst thing you can do, the single worst thing you can do, is not ask for enough money. If you make a demand and the insurance adjuster says yes, you have wildly miscalculated the value of your case and likely left a lot of money sitting on that settlement table. Conversely, if you make too high of a demand, you are showing that you really don't have a realistic view of the value of your case which is going to make further negotiations difficult. And if you drop your demand dramatically after that, that's blood in the water to a shark of an adjuster that tells them you're ultimately going to cave in at any price. To know how much you can demand, you have to have seen thousands of cases and be able to balance out the dozens of variables that make up the settlement value of your claim. But you don't have that background. So how can you solve that problem? Don't make a demand. Ask for a fair settlement offer that takes into account all your harms and losses, but leave the amount blank. It's a way of somewhat at least covering for your lack of understanding as to the real settlement value of your claim. Another way to mess up your case is to give a recorded statement to the at-fault driver's insurance company. Many people think, look, I've got nothing to hide. The truth is the truth today, and it'll always be the truth. But this is not the truth. Recollections and injuries change and evolve, and a completely honest person will not always stay consistent. It's just human nature. And look, sure, there are situations where our clients do give recorded statements, but that's based on very carefully calibrated legal advice in unique and in controlled situations. You are not getting that, so you're better off just having a blanket rule of no recorded statements so it doesn't come back to bite you later. The next big one people screw up is the statute of limitations. It sounds easy, it's not. We get calls all the time with people who have great claims that are now worthless because they're being filed after the statute of limitations. The statute of limitations in Maryland is generally three years, but there are so many exceptions that can shorten or lengthen the time you have to file or to give notice of a filing. It is the number one cause of legal malpractice against personal injury lawyers who presumably know what they're doing, right? There are also quiet limitations periods for filing claims, like the notice of deadlines when suing a governmental entity. And here's another, here's another sort of statute of limitations problem. In medical malpractice cases, people sometimes try to settle their own case and fail, and then they can't find a lawyer. And the reason why they can't find a lawyer is not because the deadline passed, but because it's too close to the statute of limitations. How do you solve this problem? Well, the easiest end run around it is to call a good lawyer and ask about the limitations issues. You don't have to hire them, just call them. There are a few more mistakes that you also need to consider. First, you need to understand what the collateral source rule is, where you might leave $2,500 or more on the table in every case you've settled. I explained the collateral source rule in a PIP video, and I'm going to leave a link to it in the notes of this video, and there's going to be a link to it at the end of this video as well your medical records of treatment. The guts of a car accident claim for settlement purposes are the medical bills and records and police report. Collect them all, do it yourself. Only get the medical treatment that you need, not more and not less. The irony of personal injury cases, the great irony, is that the best way to maximize the value of your case is usually just to pretend that you don't have a case. And don't lie to the insurance company don't lie to your doctors. You're just setting yourself up for disaster if you do. Finally, see a medical doctor in your treatment. There's not a doctor blessing the physical therapy or chiropractic care you're getting. It's really going to hurt your case. You want to see an MD both for your health and for your case. Listen, I've seen lawyers who handle personal injury cases fairly regularly that make these mistakes over and over. Don't let them happen to you. And good luck with your case. If you need to speak to me about your claim, give me a call. I'm Ron Miller, 
you can reach me at 800-553-8082. Thank you.